Libraries play a really important role in society. They help people discover new interests. They help people engage in different issues. And here at the Fraser Coast Libraries, we have these regular wildlife talks. And this month, we're really, really fortunate to have Dr. Kathy Townsend from the University of Sunshine Coast. Dr. Kathy, you'll be, what will you be speaking about? So I'm going to talk about my work that I've done on the impact of marine debris on marine animals. Mm -hmm. So focusing really closely on sea turtles, but I've also done work on manta rays and seabirds and things like that as well. Um, so the exciting thing about this project, it's, it's what I'll be talking you through is sort of a culmination of almost 20 years of work. Yeah. But I'll be also including some really recent stuff where mm -hmm. we've had some students who have just finished off work looking at comparing you know, the Fraser Coast to mm -hmm. other areas like um, the Sunshine Coast and Moreton Bay and looking at you know, who's doing good, who's yeah. doing bad, mm -hmm. all those sorts of things as well. Yeah, and so are we finding that it's an increased amount of um, deaths, say for turtles, because of plastic in the water? So that's literally one of the things we're looking at. Mm -hmm. So a lot of the work that I've done in the past ended up sort of contributing to some of these legislative changes mm -hmm. that we've seen recently, like the plastic bag ban, the container deposit scheme, and just recently the, um, the banning of the yeah, single-use single use. containers mm -hmm. as well. Um, and so one of, the, one of the projects that we've just finished up is looking at how well is that legislation working. And that question you just asked me was the question what we asked. Yeah. It was, has the, the amount of debris that the sea turtles have been it, uh, exposed to changed over time and unfortunately not quite yeah, yet. Not yet. Um, but however there's a little bit more of a good news story around looking at overall waste in the environment mm -hmm. over time so we've got surveys that we did pre 2018 before the bans and then we've done them again you know this yeah. this many years later and we can actually see quite a distinct de decrease in the total amount of debris over time which yeah. to me it's a good news story because it yeah. sounds like the message is getting out there, right? It's going to take us a little bit longer because there's still material in the environment mm -hmm. for turtles to be able to consume. So we need to wait till that sort of dissipates. But we're going to continue our monitoring and hopefully we'll see a similar trend with mm -hmm. the turtles as well. Uh, Kathy, you obviously lecture at university. You have PhD students, but I've seen you speak to people of all backgrounds and ages. Um, who is, are these talks at the library suitable for? So these are very much aimed at the general public. So I, I try to demystify the science, yep. and um, uh, that's actually something I'm very passionate about, is communicating science in a way mm -hmm. that the general public can come in and understand. And I've had school children in mm -hmm. my audience all the way through to retirees, so it really is open to anybody who has an interest. Yep. Well, thanks so much for giving these talks at our libraries. Um, the talks are free, but bookings are essential. I really encourage you to come along and learn more about our natural environment, um, what human uh, pollution is doing to it, and how we can all make a difference.